Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. In today's video, I saw a bunch of stuff on TikTok and just YouTube in general on the Chanel. This is the La Rouge Duo. So I picked one of these up. It was a little bit pricey. This lipstick is $42. I actually picked up two shades. The one that I'm going to be demoing in today's video is Light Rose. I'm going to go grab my other one really quick. All right, and then the other color that I got is Rosewood. So basically, this is kind of like the CoverGirl Outlast lipstick that came out forever ago. I think it came out when I was like in middle school or high school. But you have a colored lipstick on one end and then you've got a clear gloss on the other. And basically, the color is supposed to last all day long and you're supposed to just have to reapply this clear gloss. Now, you don't want to use any gloss on top of this. You really want to use the one that actually comes with the product. There's just something about it is what I have heard. And I know that that's the fact with the CoverGirl ones from back in the day. But yeah, this is the color Rosewood here. Now, the one I'm going to be using today is Light Rose. There was quite a good shade selection on Ulta, which is where I bought mine. However, most of these were sold out, which... Again, I was like extremely surprised about because these are so pricey. This is definitely the most expensive lipstick that I have ever purchased personally. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Now that I'm looking at it, I may want to try this rosewood shade. Actually, I think it looks better with the eye look that I have on. All right, so the deal with these is that you don't want to have anything on your lips. So I'm going to take... This is just a washcloth I was using with my makeup today. I did have a little bit of lip balm going on my lips while I was doing the rest of my makeup. All right. So let's see what this applicator looks like. All right, it's just a little doe foot. So here is Rosewood, super thin formula. And then on the other end, you have your Chanel. And you've got like a little brush tip for that clear gloss. All right, then let's try out Light Rose. Also, something I noticed was that a lot of these colors were just super wearable. Um, so, I am about that. I love nude lipsticks. That is really what I live in. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go into this rosewood shade. All right, I brought you guys in a little bit closer just so you could really see what I'm doing here. And we are going to go ahead and apply the lipstick. This really <laughs> looks like my lip color, does it not? Let me try to hood it on a little bit thicker. So you're supposed to let this sit on your lips for just a few seconds. It'll get tacky. And then once it gets tacky, that's when you want to apply your lip gloss. I do like this color, a rosy vibe. All right, at this point, my lips are starting to get tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the gloss. All right, I'm gonna dip back in, get a little bit more. All right, and I will also mention nothing came off on this applicator. So that's crazy. Especially I feel like for how much of this color I put on because I really laid this color on pretty thickly um, just because I wanted it to show up because it was looking basically like the color of my lips. I wanted it to show up so we could really give this a fair test. Right, so this is it. I love 
the shine that it's giving, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. It feels just balmy. It doesn't feel like I have a ton of stuff on my lips. It just feels comfortable and like moisturized. So right off the bat, I really like how this feels. I like how it looks. Um, I think that this shade is very everyday. I think either one of these shades would be very everyday friendly, honestly. All right, now that I got those clips out, this looks a little bit better. But yeah, I'm going to wear this throughout the day. I'll probably do one or two check-ins and then I'll give my final thoughts at the end of the day. All right, guys, I am doing my first check-in. It is like 1.50 right now. So it's been about six hours since I've first applied this lipstick. I have not reapplied the color at all. I have reapplied the gloss one time. Still feels super moisturizing. As you can tell, the color is still there. And I don't see it wearing off at all. You know, sometimes in the middle, it can start to wear off. I don't see that at all. So, so far, so good. I will probably do one more check-in. All right, guys. So, this is after eating. It still looks exactly the same. I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this lipstick. I have no clue, but I'm going to have this on for a few more hours, and then I'll do one final check-in. All right, guys. I'm getting ready to leave work. It is like 7 p.m. right now, so I have had this on now for 11 hours, and... I still have not touched up the lipstick color at all. It is still on my lips. I don't know what is up with this, but this could be the best lipstick formula that I have ever used. It's super comfortable. It's not drying at all, but yet the color lasts. This makes me want to get even like more deeper colors in this formula. So I think if you're looking for a good red, holy hell, this is the way to go. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. I look so oily and stuff but yeah you guys just ignore that this is about the lipstick and the lipstick is bomb um I wish it wasn't so much money $42 is a very 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 steep price um but like I said this is probably the best lipstick formula I have ever tried I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it was helpful if you've been thinking about picking one of these up I would highly recommend if you have the coin to do so um, even just getting like one staple color like I said like a red I think this would be amazing for a red lipstick but I hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you on the next one bye guys